Hello. This video is about screen recording software with no watermark and no time restriction. You can do this to best free screen recorder without watermark and time restriction for your for recording video in 2021. Let's go. On top of the list is Atomy Active Presenter, one of my favorite screen recording software for creating online training videos. This software is completely free to use, without watermark or time restriction. You can capture your computer screen, your webcam, audio from your microphone and system sound simultaneously. Click the link in the description to visit Atomy's homepage and download the software if you are interested in this program. As you can see here, Active Presenter 8 is the latest version of the software which includes a screen recorder, video editor and different tools for creating online e-learning courses. Before downloading the software, don't forget to check out the description on their homepage because it may change from time to time. To getting started, click this download button, then select Active Presenter to go to the download page. When you are at the download page, select an Active Presenter version according to your operating system. There are different versions for Windows and Mac OS on this page. For example, I can click the download button for Active Presenter right here. It will take a while to download the installation package depending on your Wi-Fi connection speed. Okay, let's take a look at the software now. Okay. Here you are at the start page of Active Presenter. On top left of the window is all the function of this software. To start a new screen recording, click this record video button. This is Active Presenter recording toolbar. It's divided into two parts. The first part is your recording area where you can select full screen, or a custom resolution by clicking on these buttons. You can also select your screen recording resolution right here. Or just click this button to move, and resize your screen recording area directly on your computer screen. Added to that, you can also select a locked application to record too. The second part of the toolbar is where you can select your webcam and audio recording. To record your webcam, click this button. Then, select the webcam you want to record. Here I am using my Canon DSLR as a webcam, I can easily switch to my built-in webcam by checking this option too. To enable audio recording options, clicking on this button. Use this slider to adjust your audio recording level. To select audio input and output, click this drop down menu button. Here you can select the mic you want to use for your voiceover. As well as the option to record system audio, or not. Finally, click this record button to start your screen recording. Being mentioned that you can also fine-tune your record settings with this little gear icon on top right of the recording toolbar too. Let's record a short video for example. Hello, so this is the screen recorder uh, the of Active Presenter. Uh, it is recording my computer screen and my webcam and audio and also audio from the system sound. Let's click something. And when we finish, we can find the Active Presenter button here. Okay, so this show me some frames, uh, recorded and draw frame, and also audio level here. This is the duration. You can pause the recording by click, uh, clicking this button and stop the recording here. Of course, you can use shortcut also. But now I'm going to stop the recording. Ooh, okay, so here is my screen recording. It is divided in different layers, such as system audio, audio and webcam and video. Uh, for the webcam, you can resize or move around the screen to where you want to put it. Uh, and of course, you can uh, use all this function like insert text and shape and uh, so many things more here 
and finally you can export the screen recording uh, click on the export button and you can select video to export it to mp4 and upload to YouTube click here so remember you need to check all this button if you want to export also the audio and your closed caption also for video quality here we can select at uh, 70 to get the best video quality but keep the file small and here is the format you can export to mp4 avi or other mkv or web uh, web m and for the name here you can select select this one and you can press this test one put it a name and test video mp4 okay and you can click save so now it will export to mp4 and you can click OK to export your video with no without watermark or time restriction. Let's click OK. It will take some time to render your video. Okay, so when you finish, you can uh, click Yes to view the output file. So this is a test video. Let's double click on that to see. And also this is the screen recorder uh, the of Active Presenter. Uh, it is recording my computer screen and my webcam and audio and also audio from the system cell. Let's click something and when we finish we can find the Active Presenter button here. Okay so this show me some frames uh, recorded and draw frame and also audio level here this is the duration you can pause the recording by click uh, clicking this button and stop the recording here of course you can use shortcut also but now I'm going to stop the recording okay let's move on to the next free screen recorder without watermark in my list the next option you can use for video recording without watermark is OBS studio or open broadcaster software. This is a free and open source software for video recording and live streaming. You can click the link I put in the description to visit OBS project website to download it. It's available on Windows, Mac OS and Linux too. If you want to learn how to record screen with OBS Studio, check out the link on top right corner of this video. I published a very detailed tutorial about OBS Studio for beginners couple months ago already. Let's open the software to show you how to record screen your webcam and audio in OBS Studio now. OK. This is what you will see when you open OBS Studio on your computer. It looks a little bit different compared to Active Presenter's start page. For beginners, it looks a little bit confusing. But, don't worry. It's not that hard to learn how to record screen with this software anyway. To start a new screen recording, click this plus button at the source window. There are different capture options on this pop-up menu. You can just select this, Display Capture, if you want to record your computer screen. Click OK to add source. Then, select the monitor you want to capture, and click OK to go back to the user interface. To record your webcam, you will need to add a new capture option. This time, select Video Capture Device. Then, select the webcam you want to record. For example, I can select my Canon DSLR as my webcam. Don't forget to resize the webcam and move it to the right position on the screen as OBS Studio does not allow you to edit your webcam like Active Presenter. For example, I can put my webcam at this corner. I can do the same to add my input audio and output audio before starting my video recording. That's all the settings you need to do before starting your video recording with OBS Studio. Of course, you can click on this settings button to dive deeper into the settings of this program. But, for the sake of this video, I will fast forward this part to save your time. If you want to learn more about OBS Studio, let me know at the comments section below. I can make a specific tutorial video for you if you want. 
Here is an example video recording of OBS Studio. Okay, so this is a video quality if you use OBS Studio to record your computer screen. As you see on the screen, I have my webcam here, so this, uh, we can just uh, reside to this area because it's the same, the same setting that I have just showed you. But in OBS Studio, there are many things, uh, many thing more that uh, you can do with the software. Uh, for example, if you want to uh, key out the green uh, green background, or you can uh, add a color correction to your video, you can do like this. Uh, add a video capture device. You can right click, right click, and uh, go to filters. Right. That is not not to uh, that is not to mention many other uh, other options such as uh, transform and skewing and scaling or, or something. But at the filter uh, filter option, you can click here to add more filter to your to your video, such as crop and color key and chroma key here. Uh, this one color correction, you can click here and then add another one if you want. But uh, this one I already add the color correction. You can select it. And we can adjust the saturation here. You see the saturation of my video change, right? And we can just reset it to normal one. And you can also increase the or reduce the brightness of your video also. So that's interesting because this is just a free software and open source, right? Okay, so that is about OBS Studio. I think it's good enough uh, to record your computer screen with audio and webcam, especially for those of you who want to record gameplays and live streaming or something like that. But if you want to make a software tutorial like me or teaching about software, I think Active Presenter is a better option. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, this two uh, software has no watermark and no time restriction. So you can just try both of them. Uh, to be honest, I have both uh, software on my computer now. Okay, so how do you think about this program? If you like the program, don't forget to check out my video description to download, download them. And I'm sorry for mixing voice, uh, robot voice and my voice. Uh, because uh, you know that my neighbor, they are fixing their house and they are rolling all the time. So, but I have to make a software tutorial. Uh, here in my studio, and I don't want to get annoying audio, so I have to uh, to yeah, use robot voice and my voice. But uh, normally I will use only my voice now because uh, I think robot voice is a little bit boring. Uh, by the way, if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my channel. I make tutorial about software, about Active Presenter, Filmora, and Camtasia, and also other screen recording software and video editing software. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Goodbye, and see you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.